Closer to the middle, all right? You have 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Hey. All right, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. So, here, who's, who here has been to a comedy sports match before? Wonderful, wonderful. And who hasn't been to a comedy sports match? You raised your hand twice. What are you doing? All right, so comedy sports is competitive improv. Uh, we are here to make you laugh. But we have two rules in comedy sports. The first rule is the groaner foul. Let me hear it. Do it with me. Groan. Wait for me. Ready? Groaner foul. Wonderful. And a groaner foul is if someone up here says something punny or some just just a horrible joke that makes you go ah, then that is a groaner foul and we will take a point away from that. Do we have a voice up there? Of course. Let me hear an example of a groan or foul joke. Why couldn't the pirate learn the alphabet? Why? Because he was always lost at sea. <laughs> yeah, we don't do that here. We do intelligent comedy here, all right? So, that is our first rule. Our second rule is the brown bag foul. Everyone do it with me. Brown bag foul. Now the brown bag foul is if one of our players is something lewd, crude, or rude. Something that you wouldn't want your principal, parent, or priest to hear. So, if we do get a brown bag foul up here, I will grab a brown bag and put it on top of their head and they have to play the rest, the rest of that game with the brown bag on their head. And at the end, they will have to beg for your mercy. So, anyways, let me warm you guys up. I'm going to cross my hands. Every time I cross my hands, I want you to clap. All right. This time I'm going to tell you that I'm going to trick you, all right? So pay attention. I'm going to trick you. Come on, guys. Come on, come on, come on. All right, ready? I'm going to trick you. All right, all right, no tricks this time. So here we go. You ready? Scissors Infinity, shall we? 
So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, they're going to play a game of rock, paper, scissors, but it's not what, it's not what you think it is, all right? So I'm going to say rock, paper, scissors, infinity, and they can choose anything they want to be, and you guys get to decide who would win in a battle. So ready? Rock, paper, scissors, infinity. <laughs> what are you? I'm being painted like one of his French girls. <laughs> Alright, and what are you? I'm that tripod in the fifth row. <laughs> Alright, now who would win in a battle? The French girl? Yeah! Or the tripod in the fifth row? So what would you like to play for our first game? I think we'll start with Expert Challenge. Expert Challenge, alright. So, our first game is Expert Challenge. Everyone here is an expert on any topic you choose. Shellfish. <laughs> That's so last decade. Smart class. Ice cube. I take hands. I take hands. All right. So, let me... What's a class you've always wanted to take in high school? <laughs> yes. Ceramics? Nah. <laughs> you bet. How to train your dragon. All right, all right. I'm gonna get two players from each no, team. No. That's right, just one player. You. Alright, your suggestion is how to train your dragon. Players, are you ready? Yes! Begin. Welcome to How to Train Your Dragon 101. Today, we're learning how to tame them. Hi, so basically, what you need? Bunch of sheep. Bunch of sheep. <laughs> you know the sound they make? Bah! So basically, currently, we're in a sheep shortage. So, we have a few people who elect to go out in the fields and baw their best, their absolute best. And this bawing attracts the dragons. Crazy! Yay! And that's how we train. Our, that's how we capture the dragons for domestication. Now, domestication of dragons, very tricky business. You know, remember how long it took for the cavemen to domesticate wolves? Yeah, it's like that, except they try to crunch it down into only like a few hundred years versus a few thousand millennia. <laughs> so how we do this is you want to approach your house dragon very slowly. As soon as you adopt the dragon, take it in from the fields, you approach it slowly. If you move too fast, it'll burn you. That's bad. If you get burned, Tell then you're- It won't burn you. It will eat you. I believe that's true. Go ahead. Yeah! Dragons are fire-breathing monsters. They won't just burn you out of nowhere. They will first smell you. If you smell good, they will taste you. And by tasting, I mean eat you alive. Like, your whole thing. Because dragons aren't, like, his size. They're, like, ten times bigger than that, right? So, yeah, they will just eat you. And you do not want them to do that. So what you want to do, you want to cover yourself in something very foul. Like, your... Dog species or something. Challenge! Yes. They eat wild sheep from fields. They don't care about fowl and eating things. Oh! That's true. Yeah. All right, so, basically, dragons do not have picky taste buds. They will eat anything. You put it in front of them, they will devour Challenge. it. Yes. How do you know they're not picky? Ooh, that is true. You don't know if something's picky unless you freaking ask it. Like, you never ask, like, say a little Challenge! Thing. Yes. Dragons don't speak English. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Alright, so I'm gonna tell you about how dragons don't speak English. When you wanna talk to dragons, you gotta go like a big roar. You're gonna be like, rawr! Rawr! Challenge! That is not a great roar, I'm telling you. That's terrible. <laughs> That, no. What? Rawr! <laughs> that, that is offensive to dragons. I'm just going to say, you speak to dragons. She, she seems like she 
seems like someone who'd know more about the Dragon Lady. We should get in there. Not all dragons are gonna roar because they're not all vicious. So, when you walk up to a dragon, you have to be gentle with it. You have to speak with it, you have to caress it, pet it. Challenge! Yes! That makes the dragon real uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Now you go up to these dragons like, you know, just big scaly people. You're like, what's up man, how you doing, you solid. Not in English, you actually speak in war, as my partner was saying. Yes. It was a hoax. <laughs> to be completely honest, if you've ever seen a dragon, you don't like automatically absorb their language. Like ten seconds. Like you don't know like. Ten. Like nah. you go to another country, like you don't absorb their Eight. language out of nowhere. Like seven. Like, you know, to, Japan. Yes. Challenge! Yes! I took Japanese for four years. I'm pretty sure I know how to speak a language. That is true. <laughs> you took Japanese though. You didn't go to Japan and learn it. Attainable goals and everything you just Dad. don't really want to do. Yes. How do you know you can obtain something if you don't know what you're trying to obtain? Oh. That is very existentialist. I don't like that. Sit down. <laughs> you gotta really Three. want it to have to do it. There are things you Two. have to do to do something Cut. you want to do. Yeah. How do you know you want it? In my heart. <laughs> yeah. Two. So I One. get this step to this step. to the blue team! <laughs> can I help you? <laughs> you guys are just great. Thank you. Can I get Red Captain to the plane field? So Red Captain, you just lost that opening game. What would you like to respond with? My movie. <clears throat> my movie, all right. Set up for my movie. So, my movie is a game where I can pick one of your names, and they will have to create a movie title out of it with a little subtitle, and they will have to act out that movie. Oh, you guys are really close. <laughs> That's fine by me. All right, can I get someone's name? Well, see, I was so hoping someone wouldn't call out, and it was going so well until you said something. What's your name? Oscar. Oscar. Can we take one point away from Oscar? <laughs> All right, raise of hands. Name? Yes. Yes. Zoe. Okay. <laughs> so, you are seeing the game of my movie players. Are you ready? Yes! All right. Letter Z. <laughs> Zebras on a rampage. They're going wild, man. <laughs> Let's see it. Oh, uh, welcome to Nat Geo Day, we'll be looking at the wall, zebra, floor on this wall! We're gonna stand back here, crew. We've got the camera going, 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 we've got Zoe likes honey. <laughs> Zookeepers in cages. <laughs> the animals did it. <laughs> Let's see it! Hey, let's get those in people in cages! We got a lion in there, come on! Oh, yeah. come on <laughs> you guys were free!
Zoology. Zoos! Zionism. Zoe the goddess. She's beautiful. I might, I might hold here. 
Uh-huh. And, uh, and, and this neighborhood. <laughs> Cut away to that guy's home line. Plus two equals? Twelve. Uh, no, no, it's Jeremy, Jeremy, okay. Two plus two. See this? See these two fingers? These two fingers are about to collide with each other. And when those two fingers collide with each other, how many fingers do you see? Twenty. <laughs> Dr. Marvin, Dr. Marvin, how's the patient coming along? Ah, uh, I have to admit, he's a... Uh, He's not uh, doing well. His mother should see him today. It's visiting hours today. All right. I, we promised her we'd make progress. Is there a time that I can see my son? Jeremy. Uh, not, not, not that way. My son? It's, uh, it's your mother, yeah, Jeremy. Go ahead, Mama. That, that's your mama. <laughs> Jeremy, that's your mama. Okay, she's, 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 she's 22. Jeremy, she's 22. She had you at a very young age. All right, come on. 22. <laughs> Now, Mama's been paying real good money so that you'd know what two plus two equals. So, so what's two plus two? Um, don't ask him that question yet. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. When the two fingers collide, 
What do you see? How many fingers? Twenty. Four! <laughs> All right. I like how both those games use my name. <laughs> you said Jeremy. You said Jeremy. I like that. All right, so. I love you, Jeremy. That's nice. <laughs> you just saw the game of my movie and cut away. <laughs> clap for both, but clap loudest for which one did you you liked better? Was it cut away? <laughs> Was it my movie? Was it my movie? <laughs> Five points to the red team! <laughs> no, I'm not looking at you, I'm looking at all of you. Just one. What would you like to keep the momentum with? New choice. New choice. Okay. Now, this is another game I get to control. Yay! So, new choice, they're gonna act out a scene, and at any moment I can say new choice, and they have to do something different than what they just did. Raise a hand, can I get a... Fruit. Yes. Mango. Mango. That's my dad. <laughs> Yay for Nolan's dad! Your suggestion is mango. Do with that as you wish. Wait, are you ready? Yes! Begin. <laughs> No, these mangoes aren't supposed to be there. Cat! Where's Cat? Huh? Cat! Good choice of how you walk in. Huh? Cat! Get over here! Cat! What are these mangoes doing over here? Well, they're just vibing. These are the mangoes from California. Where else? Where? New choice are you from? These are the mangoes from Canada. New choice. These are the mangoes from Mars. <laughs> They're supposed to be right by Venus. <laughs> get it right this time, okay? Okay. I'll get some help with you now. We got some new workers. We got a... Uh... <laughs> Margaret! What do you want? Margaret? New reaction to your name being called. Hey, what's up? New choice. Hi. <laughs> New choice. What's up? <laughs> what do you need me to do? I'm Margaret, so you're gonna help Kyle. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Kyle? Kyle. Kyle. Oh, I that one. Uh oh. I think so. <laughs> why? Why, why? Why was that? No gracias. The, the, why, why is he like. Uh, well, you see. He's not allowed to hear this, but his mother was a crab. <laughs> his father was Poseidon, and then he ended up here in South Carolina. <laughs> no. A crab? Yeah. He's a crab. There's no explanation. It's cat. Okay, but now what you're gonna do? You're gonna help cat move these Martian mangoes over here. Yes, he has claws. Like, show him, cop. Do your trick. Good choice. Good choice.
and she's making fun of me. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Young tracks? Yes! My dude, that dumb man! Why did I sign up for this? Yeah, get the Pope in reaction. Hi. Cut in the dotted lines, and you cut the sheet. 
Got it? Yes. Stay with me. Hey, uh, you, uh, uh, bad Brad. All right, so in the streets of suburbia, we don't have time for scissors. So what you want to do is you want to flip the sheep on its backside, get your motorcycle, and just rev the back tires. All the wool will come right off. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, this is not going to be good. Uh, 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 dumpster Mike. So in the dumpster, we got a lot of scrap metal. So what I was thinking was like, you, you pull on the wool real good. Okay! Alright! Dumpster Mike! Alright! Another question from the audience. Um, uh, you there with the ponytail thing. That's too sad, man. Wait a minute, what did you say? My, my wife left me. She took the kids. And, and he helped me. I want to do it. I'm so I'm not. Don't give him a hug. <laughs> Bigger piece of trash, and then put a little sticky note and say like, "Yo, I know I'm adopted." Say, hey, you know, 
red really suits you. <laughs> together somewhere else. Oh. I don't know if we should be asking these people these questions, but uh, 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 bad Brad. All right, so it takes a bit of technical know-how. You gotta have A, a motorcycle, and B, one that produces a lot of smoke. I've gotten really good at it over the years. So what you gotta do is you're gonna rev the engine, and in the smoke, it's gonna smell, you wanna go out or not? Nah? If they're smart, they'll have their own motorcycle and they can use it to check the yes box or the no box. <laughs> After that, I can't help you, I'm sorry. Uh, okay. <laughs> Dear God, <laughs> why did we do this? Okay, Dumpster Mike. You know, kid, I like your pizzazz. <laughs> I got a few cars on the junkyard. We could uh, sneak over to, you know, dumb Dale and take one of his engines. I okay! <laughs> I, I, I okay, you know what? I'm gonna let him finish, because I don't think. Okay, keep going. You pick your gal up in the hoopty. And you go on a nice drive around the dumpster, show all the different kind of possums and rats, <laughs> and just real, real nasty cats. I mean, like, I, I, I've seen some things. All right, so there was this one time when it was like, of what he was going to say. <laughs> Wonderful times we have here. <laughs> All right, you just saw the games of New Choice, and why do I always forget the game we just played? <laughs> I, 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 good guy works! I said it first! one you liked better. Was it New Choice? You see this? Just mean stop. Stop. Or was it Good Bad Words? Five points to the blue team. Everything is right yeah. now. <laughs> okay? Thank you. So what would you like to do to turn things around right Yay now? Boo. Yay boo. Yay boo. Okay. Okay. So we are going to be playing the game of Yay Boo. I'm going to get a suggestion. One team is going to be Yay. One team is gonna go uh, uh, one team is gonna be That's right. One team's gonna be Yay, one team's gonna be Boo. And you know what? You'll get you'll get the feel for it. <laughs> you'll figure the game out. So, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. One person from each team, please step forward. Oh, I didn't even have preferably in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> Can I get a suggestion of a place you've always wanted to go? Yes. My dad's house. <laughs> I feel you. Oh my god. <laughs> yes. What? It's all simulation. Are you in a virtual reality? <laughs>
Yen will initiate. Players, are you ready? Yes! yes. Begin. On to the dumpster! Yay! I ruined my favorite t-shirt. But now I got some ketchup to lick on. <laughs> it was old ketchup. <laughs> I can strip down and be a dumpster folk. <laughs> it was 30 degrees Celsius. <laughs> My tongue itchy. Yeah. <laughs> I'll switch to pizza. Yay! Yeah. Back to tomato sauce. <laughs> Bro, you got a problem with sauce. Yay! Yeah. And that problem has stopped me from experiencing all of the Italian cuisine. <laughs> Didn't 
didn't dive deep enough into that topic. Right. Let's do it again. Okay. Yeah. Red team, you are yay. Blue team, you are boo. Red team, initiate. Begin. <laughs> I love babysitting toddlers! Yay! They vomited on my shirt. Yay! It's okay because I can't prepare for those shirts. Yay! And then they pooped on my skin. <laughs> Oh, too yeah. 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 <laughs> And then I got out and I slipped on water. Boo! <laughs> it's okay because I wasn't injured. Yay! And that shower. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh ship's key? Nah. Spoiled milk. Spoiled milk. Box. <laughs> I gave her 
two dollars. Yay! Those two dollars weren't enough to buy it because we have tax. <laughs> My mom got a new job. Yay! Yay? Yay. I don't know how to do taxes. Oh. You are. away from the audience. Offended any of you, um, especially to whoever's up there in the booth that thinks one of us is cute. Uh, uh, please forgive me. <laughs> clap for both, but clap for his fate. Do you accept his apology? Is he not forgiven? Accept. Yeah. Yeah. Deny. You have been forgiven by the office. Yeah. <laughs> You're good. So that makes our score. 10 to 10. We have another half of comedy sports coming up for you, so don't go anywhere. You can buy concessions at there. Thank you all. We'll see you very soon.
Welcome back, everyone, to the second half of Comedy Sports. I'm glad we didn't leave. Anyways, let's make some noise for our players! Questions up here. I ask you what you want to play. I ask you what you want to play. I ask for suggestions, but you know what? I'm choosing now. Yeah. And you know what I choose? I choose town hall meeting as our first game. Wow. So, go ahead. Uh, yeah. So, town hall meeting is a game where we will get a topic, a subject, and one team will be for that subject and one team will be against that subject. And you guys get to decide who is right and who is wrong on that topic. Can I get a... You know, what, what suggestion, what do you guys think? What's on, what's on the dome? Like you're for citrus or against citrus? No, I'm I'm not. Okay. All right, all right. So our suggestion is: Do you know, blue team? You are you are for you are for this topic. Red team, you are against this topic. I'm gonna I'm say it, I'm gonna say it. Can bees' wings lift their bodies off the ground? Yes or no? Explain, evidence. No. All right, players, are you ready? Yes! Begin. Anyone like to say anything at this meeting? Yes, you, sir. Hello? Jeffrey Joe. I own a bee farm. And see, I see these bees fly around all the time and I'm sick of it. They are not supposed to be able to fly because of their wings. Have you seen my buddy, so I have a buddy Jimmy. He weighs 450 pounds and his arms go back to him. <laughs> have you seen him do a pull-up? No, I don't think so. <laughs> So you see, bees are the same way. Their wings are too small. They can't lift themselves. It's based off of physics. That's all I say. All right. I get it. I get it. The, the size ratio isn't really there. Um, you, you seem antsy to say something, sir. By all known laws of aviation, Now, hear me out. In 
this movie, did the bees stroll? No. No. Did the bees waddle? Should have been able to buy, but then my coworkers like, no, nah, we should use everything. They should buy. 
understand. It's been a whole eternity and I'm just like... No, no, we get it, we get it. We get it. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, my opinion matters, right? Yes. As, as, as the creator, your yes. opinion matters. Yes, thank you. Bees shouldn't be able to fly their bodies are too big, so it's black and yellow and all that pollen they're carrying. That comes are so small. Don't I, like, have a point? Wait! Lizzo is dummy sick, but she can move! <laughs> choice to make. Wait, I would like to say something, please? Yeah, I don't think I've heard your voice. Yeah, I wasn't going to say anything, but I'm Beavis. I'm Beavis. 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 I, I really wasn't going to say nothing, but um, I just, I really like honey. to Kiara. <laughs> Anyways, this will go down in history. Whether bees are able to sustain their own weight with their wings, this will become fact, and you people make the choice. Do we think that bees can sustain their own weight with their wings? Do we disagree? Yes! <laughs> and let this moment go down in history. January 10th, 2020. Bees can sustain their own weight with their wings. Five points for the blue team. Let's get back on the stage. some urgency in it. Sometimes we, we take pictures whenever we go on trips 
or whenever we're out, you know, take pictures to capture that moment. So, here, we're gonna have a slideshow of where they've gone, and you're gonna see the pictures. Let's get a suggestion of a place you would never want to go. Yes. Will Dad's house. Yes. <laughs> I'm gonna need consent from Will's dad. Will's dad. Will's dad. Do you accept that suggestion? Oh, yes. Your house. Yes or no? He said yes. He said yes. No, we're not going to anyone's house. Your suggestion is grocery store. That's your suggestion. All right, players, are you ready? Yes! Begin. Hello, we are going to tell you about our wonderful trip to the, to the grocery store because we took pictures it mattered. That's because my mom didn't have a light, so she just took pictures of us doing random stuff. Here, let's look at the first page. We see, um, Oh yeah, there's, you're grabbing the um, the canned eyeballs off the shelf, right? Yeah, they were having a Halloween special. I can't remember what I'm doing on the floor. <laughs> oh, you're uh, afraid of canned things. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> no, thank you. All right, next slide. Ah, uh, yes, I love oranges. Eating the rind was the best part. <laughs> but there I am, putting away all the succulents back, hiding them away, so we don't get caught. We actually got caught once. That's the worst part. We got a warning. Yes. Next slide. Next slide, yes. <laughs> oh yeah, I remember. You took the box of chocolate, 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 chocolate cookies out of my hands. And you broke my leg. <laughs> Your point is? I have a broken leg because of you. Well, I don't care. It sounds like a you problem. <laughs> oh, Let's go to the next slide. <laughs> oh, you're trying to run away with your broken leg. <laughs> Because you want to call 911. Such a caring brother you are, not to call 911 for your brother who has a broken leg. And I had to attempt to limp to the ER. Well, who asked Sally out to pro? Next slide! <laughs> ah, yes. That was she. Shame on you. <laughs> That's what this picture is telling me. <laughs> a picture says a thousand words, but this one only says one. <laughs> Shame! <laughs> Next slide. <laughs> oh. And we all know that I'm the strongest brother here. <laughs> but I still have that. Whoa. Anyway, he put a shoe print on my back. Which I didn't think was very cash money of them. I was wearing a shoe box that day. <laughs> Next slide. <laughs> so anyway, I retaliated. <laughs> because I wanted a box of fruit loops. <laughs> and he's like, heck no, nah, we're getting cinnamon toast crunch. I want that toast. <laughs> then toast some bread. Bread is too big. Oh, we got along and we were playing t 
tag in this one where I was doing a hillbilly. You're impression. doing your little jig. Yes, I love my jig. I'm up there, my leg is surprisingly just fine. There's me in the back of a box of Fruit Loops. You heal exponentially well. Yeah. Next slide. It's all God's plan. <laughs> Good family trip to the grocery store. That was wonderful. Blue team captain to the playing field. You just saw the game of slideshow. What would you like to play? You know what? I still got bees on my mind. Spelling bee. So, here. We are going to see the Spelling Bee Champion of the World. Are you okay? <laughs> Not up both my shoes miraculously. You are so <laughs> I'm good, I'm good, I'm fine now. No. These, as a unison, are the Spelling Bee Champion of the World. So, we are going to give them some words to spell out. And I might ask for a definition, an origin, and they have to provide. Okay. Yes. We got it. Can I get a kindergarten word? Apple. Yes. I knew it! Voice, give 20 points to the audience for that. That was so good. Many mice. E. 
You just saw the games of Spelling Bee and Slideshow. You saw Spelling Bee and Slideshow. Clap for both, but clap louder for which one you like the most. Was it Spelling Bee? Was it Slideshow? Another game I get to control. They will act out a scene, and at any point I can say reverse, and they have to do everything they just did back again. Backwards. And then I can say forward, reverse, as many times as I please. Can I get a. You know what? <laughs> Give me something that comes in a pair. You, sir, LA. Dodgers. Banana? No. 
Mom, I can do it. one extra point. Very good. Anyways, we saw spelling bee and we saw forward reverse. Clap for both, but clap for which one you like the most. Oh yeah, that's right. What? Spelling bee and uh No! Rena, get up here! I'm just, I lost my train of thought because of that. Can you teach me? Please. What would you like to play? John will replay. Okay. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, genre replay. They are going to act out a scene, and we are going to get different genres, and then they have to replay that scene within that genre. So, Can I get a suggestion on a genre? Yes. That's not a genre. That is not a genre. Yes. Comedy. That's one. Yes. Gospel TV? Okay. Wait, wait. Oh. No, comedy is one genre. Mm -hmm. Gospel is one. Gospel is another. Do you want me to do it after you do one? <laughs> what? <laughs> gospel. Right, comedy, gospel, and then another one, please. <laughs> yes. Anime. What? Yeah. Oh, yeah. What? Anime. Anime. Yes. Yeah. I like to go to my little 
hiding hole. Right here. <laughs> Let's get a suggestion. I'm not. I you lost my trust. <laughs> Suggestions? Yes. Family trip to Disneyland. Ooh. How about just family trip? Your suggestion is family trip. Family trip. Okay. Family trip. Family trip. Family trip. Family trip. Family trip. Okay. Players, are you ready? Yes. yes. Begin. Nani, where are we going? Hawaii. I told you this yesterday. To Wee Wee? Yes, <laughs> Hawaii. You know that movie I showed you yesterday? The one with the ocean and the okay. bees? Yes, yes, the one with the bees, okay? The one that you like and have the little characters. We're going there, okay, sweetie? Okay. Yeah. All right, let's get on our plane. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, sir, can I help you? Is this what happens in Hawaii? <laughs> Honey, do you know this man? Oh, I am so sorry. Sometimes he gets out of the sweatshop. Back in. <laughs> Corporate billions don't come from anywhere. Don't judge me. <laughs> Are you also going to Hawaii? Yes. Oh. We're actually leaving today. Uh, well, that's brilliant. Uh, it happens to be a, a Disney airliner, and Mickey will be performing some, some special tricks for you. Mickey! <laughs> Did you hear that? <laughs> Mickey's gonna perform for you all day. Oh, oh. oh. Isn't, isn't he an adorable little mouse? They are going to replay that scene, but now it is a comedy. <laughs> Players, are you ready? Yes! Begin! Mom, we're going to Hawaii! Ha ha ha! Ha ha ha! Hawaii! You know, that's the one I told you the movie about, remember? <laughs> Sugar, you remember? 
remember Hawaii? I showed it to you later, that while ago. <laughs> <laughs> On the TV, you remember some Sammy and, and the bees. Yes, yes the many bees. <laughs> Amen. 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 Brother, you got a sign to show us. Amen. Amen. Bonnet! 
sister! one you liked better, was it forward reverse? <laughs> was it John where we play? <laughs> Five points to the blue team! <laughs> Voice, what does that make our score? That makes our score. Red team 11, blue team He's just gone. <laughs> Couldn't handle the heat. What? Why are you disappointed? I thought you were looking at me. I, mean, I am. <laughs> yes! All right. yeah. Interrogation. What would you like to play for our final game of the day. I'm feeling a little punny today, so I'm going to do 185. All right. Yeah. 185. Oh, yeah. 185 is a pun game where they are given a phrase that they have to say, and they have to make a pun. It's a pun game. We all good? We all mixed up? Hopefully. Yes. Obviously. Yes, very good. Give me an animal. Narwhal. Narwhal. Donkey. Hover. They will get a point. The groaner foul does not apply to this game. So there are no groaner fouls here. Oh. Your suggestion is mu muskrat. Players, are you ready? Yes! yes. 185 muskrats walk into a bar. And the bartender's like, hey, um, we don't serve muskrats here. And the rats are like, oh, rats. <laughs> 185 muskrats walk into a bar. The bartender says, we don't serve muskrats here. The muskrats say, I guess I must move on. 185 muskrats walk into a bar. The bartender says, sorry, we don't serve muskrats here. And the muskrats go, don't pull my whiskers. <laughs> 185 muskrats walk into a bar. And the horribly animalist waiter says, sorry, we don't serve muskrats in here. They said, well, it smelled kind of musky in here. Show some gratitude. 185 muskrats walk into a bar. Bartender says, Sorry, you don't serve muskrats in here. And the muskrats say, Well, muskrat! 185 muskrats walk into a bar. Bartender says, Sorry, we don't serve muskrats here. The muskrat said, I haven't even started cheesing yet. No. Stay in there. No. <laughs> Jean jacket. Don't turn your head. <laughs> yeah. 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 
Wait, didn't you just choose? Yeah. Oh my god. You suggested us. You then. Whatever you want. What? Bar, the bar that says we don't serve pandas here, the pandas go, I'll smack you with a pan. Yeah. Oh. Wow. 185 pandas walk into a bar, the bartender says, sir, we don't serve pandas here. The pandas reply, why does everything gotta be black and white with you? Okay. 185 pandas walk into a bar, and the bartender's like, we don't serve pandas here, and the panda's like, well, I'll just go cuddle. Bamboo! A panda, 185 times the normal size, walks into a bar, and the bartender says, we don't serve ridiculously large pandas in here. He eats, shoots, and leaves. If you, if I don't get a drink, I might go extinct. Give me a, give me a, a sport ball. Oh. I heard soccer. <laughs> European football. Soccer. Soccer. Okay. Okay. Oh yes. 185 soccer players walk into a bar. Bartender says, sorry, we don't serve soccer players here. And the soccer players say, go, 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 Soccer players walk into a bar and the bartender says, Sorry, we don't serve soccer players here. And the soccer players reply with, Don't get foul with me. Same time. A cute female soccer player. <laughs> 185 soccer players walk into a bar. The bartender says, We don't serve soccer players here. Soccer players say, Why you gotta be such a goalie? A cute female soccer player walked into a bar. I didn't say you could come back in. Oh, please! And the poor tennis said, we don't serve cute female soccer players here. And her, her friend said, that's a mistake, she's a keeper. Soccer players walk into a bar. Bartender says, "Sorry, we don't serve soccer players here." And one of the soccer players goes, "Wow!" <laughs> 185 soccer players walk into a bar. The bartender says, "Please, uh, no, we don't serve bartenders. <laughs> we don't serve soccer players here." And the soccer players say, "Come on, give me a drink. I'm such a messy." <laughs> Oh, I had a good one. <laughs> let's, let's just hear what they had to say. 185 soccer balls walk into a bar, and the bartender says, Sorry, we don't serve soccer balls here. And the soccer balls say, Ah, balls! <laughs> Correction. Two soccer players walk into a bar, and the waiter says, We don't serve duos of soccer players here. They said, well, the place is messy, so we're gonna run all go. <laughs> Soccer fans, you get that one. Slash, a woman who like attractive men. <laughs> you might get that. <laughs> no, we're done. Oh. Oh. No, I know. Oh. Oh. That was a game of 185. Let's get our final point. Well, I'm spinning a lot. Let's get our final point tally. Everyone, drum roll! Now for the point, the red team with 23 points and the blue team with 23! Yeah. 
Now, for the audience, still at 10 points. Yeah. We are still at 15. Yeah. 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 Uh, what did she say? 23 or 43? 23 to 30. 33. Oh. oh. Yeah. for coming and laughing with us. All we want to do is make you laugh. I hope you had a good time. Thank you so much, and good night from all of us. Jeremy Sam.